Welcome back to Great Day. Our next guest, sisters Chloe and Brooke Kramer, are active in sports, but glasses got in the way during their games. Dr. Helio Arroyo from Eye Health Consultants had the solution that helped the girls see clearly again without surgery, without contacts, without glasses. Please welcome them to Great Day. <laughs> All right, we mentioned a little bit earlier that there's like an a, like an a, a epidemic of, of kids and, and just their eyesight going, uh, you know, nearsighted in the whole bit. Um, kids at this age are not allowed to have LASIK sur surgery done, right? That's correct. So what we are doing is to do what LASIK does, but non-surgically, meaning that's reversible. And what we do is to change the curvature of the cornea. So we can change the curvature of the cornea without surgery without destroying tissue and by changing that curvature we are changing the refractive status of the eye so yeah. now you put the image where it's supposed to be in the back of the eye so you can see clear without glasses naked eyes yeah all right chloe uh you were wearing glasses at what first grade yeah in uh, first grade i started wearing glasses yeah all right and so what were the problems you were having with them well it was just mostly annoying because <laughs> first of all like you can't do normal things like go swimming you can't see while you're swimming or on roller coasters or running around or doing sports or anything like that. So How often did you either lose your glasses or someone smashed them accidentally? A lot of times. I got my glasses smashed like three times in a row on a vacation one time. So I had to just kind of like hold them. Three times in a row in the same vacation? Yeah. Oh my, my <laughs> grandpa sat on them. I like stepped on them. It was horrible. Yeah. All right. And Brooke, what about for you? When did you start wearing glasses? Um, I played, I wore glasses when I was nine. So that's when I started. And I played um, soccer a lot. So it was difficult to play soccer because like I could get kicked in the face if I had glasses, which I never had glasses. And that's why we decided to go with molds. Yeah, yeah. And then of course, you know, sports is one thing, but even just in class, I remember I was nine too when I first started wearing glasses and I had to sit closer to the, to the chalkboard. I, I was getting headaches and things and I didn't realize it was because I wasn't able to see. I thought everybody had fuzzy letters on the chalkboard, right? <laughs> but that could be an indication that your child, first of all, you need to get in and get their, their eyes checked, but an indication they may be having some vision problems could be things like headaches and stuff. Well, absolutely. I mean, there are many symptoms, and many times, like you said, you're a kid, and kids are wonderful, and they think that uh, things are the way they are because they are supposed to be that way, but yeah. they don't know, right? Well, at this point in time, I think pretty much everyone goes to the, I mean, uh, parents know, they go to the doctor, and uh, the eye doctor says, well, do you need glasses or not? But I think we need to start changing the focus here, uh, Deborah. Thing, uh, no pun intended, but uh, <laughs> really, I mean, we are putting them on glasses or contacts so they can get by, they continue to see okay. The problem is that they are getting worse literally every yeah. every day yeah, every month even though i was wearing glasses and contacts i had to keep getting stronger prescriptions right did you go through that having to get stronger prescriptions yeah and the glasses get like thicker and thicker every time your social life it was impending on yeah. that yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> right. so yeah so that, that, that tells you that the eye is not getting better that's right uh, the the eye stretches backwards so it's not like you're getting bigger eyes, but you're getting uh, longer eyes. Mm -hmm. And the problem is that uh, that puts you at risk. Not only you're seeing worse and worse as years go by, and glasses and contacts are not stopping, they're not fixing that problem, but that puts you at risk for many serious conditions, Deborah, such as glaucoma, retinal detachment, macular degeneration, cataracts. And the, you know, your sixth after of myopia, your chances of getting uh, retinal detachment in the future when you're an adult is 300-fold higher. Wow. So what are we doing with corner molding? We are actually... Uh, that are, you know, the FDA approved corner molding for use in kids. Uh, there's no such claims as I can say, well, the FDA approved it for myopia control, but major well controlled design, well designed studies have proven that we're able to significantly decrease the amount of myopia getting worse in the future. So we are doing everything we can to stop progression of myopia for this kid. So literally, we are protecting their visual future. Yeah, all right. So you were told, okay, you can get this contact, you sleep in it. The next morning you take it out and your eyes will be great. And so did you believe it when you first heard it? Well, I thought it was kind of weird because I always wanted to get like normal contacts because I hated my glasses. Yeah. Um, so I thought it was kind of weird, but I wanted to try it out. Yeah, of course, with normal contacts, the issue you had like, as a you know, long distance runner mm -hmm. is that you'd sweat and so you start rubbing your eyes and there's allergies and things and those, a contact pops out. Yeah. Uh, so to have your naked eye, so you slept in, in your contacts, you woke up the next morning and what? And I was really surprised because I always was like, I always thought like people are so lucky that they can just see without having to wear glasses and everything. So I was so surprised and I was really excited. Yeah, because you had nothing in your eye. You could take them out in the morning and that was it. And you, yeah. that was your eyes were seeing, right? Because they had been re uh, corrected on the shape. And then for you, what, what, what was that like? I thought it was kind of strange, but then I tried it and it was really good. Yeah, it was kind of strange. <laughs> but the cool thing is that it's soft tissue, so it moves very quickly. And you're just putting it back to where it would be if it was a perfect eye. And the great thing about this is that uh, people like me, like I, I was having problems like reading close up, is that you can do it for people who need to, to see close up 
up as well. It just reshapes the eye, and then now you have perfect vision. That's right. Do you wear them now every night, every other night? Uh, every other night. Yeah. Every other night. Yeah. Okay. That yeah. keeps you. That you keep yeah. me every Look, second. Look, I can read right. it right here. 2020 vision, almost <laughs> immediately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dr. Helio Arroyo. Oh, I baby. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but that's that's the cool thing is that um, you you can either wear them every night, or I've backed off to probably every other night, and I can still see. That's right, uh, because we can do it in every eye that is healthy. So the other group of individuals that love cornamolin is those who are never wear glasses. They hate glasses because they never had to wear them. They're over 40, and you know, folks, what happened over 40, right? Yeah, uh, the, the what I just said. Uh, like pretty much all of <laughs> yeah. us, we start kind of needing longer eyes. At mm -hmm. some point, long, you know, longer eyes are no longer an option. So we are able to reshape the cornea in a different direction to do accomplish the same purpose, yeah. which is to read up close. Bottom line well. is you can get perfect eyesight, basically, That's uh, with the corneal molding without having to do any, any surgery to the eye or wearing those glasses. How long did it take you to stop doing this? Oh, actually, I still... I still do that, or yeah. like I, I used to go like this to like push up my glasses yes. and my skin, and I still do it sometimes. Yeah, every now and then I push up glasses that don't exist, right? Yeah. <laughs> right, right there. All right, ladies, thank you very much. What would you say to somebody who is struggling with what to do with contacts and glasses? What would you say? Um, I would say don't be nervous because I was always nervous about like putting something in my eye. I thought it'd be mm -hmm. really uncomfortable and stuff. Like, yeah, but you would have to put a regular contact in your eye also. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I still like I'll put them in and then I can like watch TV for 30 minutes or I'll like mm -hmm. read for 20 minutes and I I don't even feel it. Yeah. So. What would you say? Um, I'd say the same thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> same thing as my big sister. All right. <laughs> iHealth Consultants has a special offer for Great Day Houston viewers. Get $300 off corneal molding when you call now. But you must be one of the first 25 callers. Call them now at 281-419-3355, 281-419-3355. And be sure to mention Great Day Houston when you call. For more information on Dr. Arroyo and corneal molding, log on to sleepandsee.com. And it's that easy. You go to sleep. You wake up, you take them out, and I see. All right, thank you very much.